Now to the latest on three fatal crashes happening overnight on Route 95. Early Sunday morning proving to be tragic and also busy for Rhode Island State Police. Troopers responding to all three crashes in just 20 minutes. One of them killing a nurse who had pulled over to help with one of the accidents. 12 News reporter Brittany Schaefer has more on what we've learned. Well, the 34 year old nurse stopped to help a victim in a rollover crash. That's when she was struck by a vehicle. The driver of that vehicle then left. It's a night state police superintendent Colonel James Manny hopes he never sees again. In 18 minutes, three people died from crashes on Route 95. The first crash happening at 1.30 a.m. in Providence by Branch Avenue. State police say a single vehicle hit a tree, the driver thrown from the vehicle. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Police identify the victim as 22-year-old Joseph Abreu of Providence and say speed appears to be a factor in the crash. Minutes later, state police responding to a rollover crash by exit 30 in Pawtucket. When troopers arrived, they were told a good Samaritan trying to help had been hit by a vehicle that then left. 34 year old Jennifer Toscano was an off duty nurse and was pronounced dead at the scene. Troopers soon after found the red vehicle in the hit and run. The driver, 22 year old Lewis Bays, is facing numerous charges, including driving under the influence resulting in death and operating on a suspended license. State police then responded to another single vehicle crash near exit three in Richmond. They say a vehicle left the highway, striking several light poles, a tree, and was then engulfed in flames. Several Good Samaritans stopped and were able to remove the driver from the burning vehicle. 25-year-old Brian Joseph Scacciaferro was later pronounced dead at the hospital. Police say alcohol and speed appear to be factors in the crash. And Lewis Bays is expected to be arraigned in Providence District Court Monday. State police say all of these crashes are under investigation and anyone with any information on them should give them a call. In Lincoln, I'm Brittany Schaefer, 12 News.